Demlog here giving you the latest monthly updates on Dual Universe. This month, Novacorp released interesting details on the upcoming Alpha 2 patch, the first being a barter system, which would allow players to trade items in quanta between one another in the game. This would be accomplished by approaching another player, right-clicking on them, and then selecting barter from the drop-down menu. This will also provide an environment for sales-based corporations to thrive within. Within the plans, Novacorp will also be rolling out new graphical enhancements. These will include enhanced planet texture resolution, increased depth perception, motion blur, and finally volumetric clouds. By using a variety of algorithms, the game will begin to produce fluffy, believable clouds with almost no negative impact on performance. This also means that they're now able to simulate various types of clouds on varying planets by modifying some simple, basic parameters. In addition, there will be changes coming for the capacities of inventories and containers. These will be followed up by modifications to material transportation, crafting recipes, and virtually every single step between mining and crafting. For capacities, by increasing the container's amount, they hope to capture a more realistic feel with respect to how much a player is able to actually carry. Along with these changes, our plans on modifying the weight of items as well. In the end, players should be able to transport large amounts of material without needing an insane amount of propulsion. Some of the larger bit of changes coming to head are the changes involving cubic meters to liters, a new talent system, and as mentioned before, recipes. With recipes, Novocork plans to rework how they work and balance the amount of each ingredient required for each component. The initial intent was for them to get a feel for how things work in the live environment and then balance the system from there. With the change in measurement standards, Novocork aimed to obtain a final control over how weight would scale as a player began to transport more material. With cubic meters, a player's weight would artificially scale up. Yet, with the switch to leaders, better control was obtained and a more human-level metric was achieved. With the introduction to the talent system, Novacorp aims to foster an environment more conducive for teamwork and roleplay. Though a bit rough around the edges, Novacorp will mold and shape the system based upon player response to ensure that this makes a wonderful addition to the game. To catch up on the full details of the release, please check out the link on the screen. Now on to Clack Knight for the monthly political updates. Hey everyone, Clack Knight here. Let's take a look at the political recap of the month of April. Frog Swarm has opened up public recruiting at last. At least, if you speak French, they are holding on to their French-only policy. Stargate Command's leader, Flo, has stepped down from office due to private reasons. Koala Brother has taken up the mantle of General, and has promoted a handful of long-time members as well. The Federation Alpha has reached their 100-member milestone. Congratulations from us here at Dust. Mascorp, a theory of Cyrus, opened up its recruiting to all Russian members of the community and has stated that they were happy with the results, with new members filling the ranks of their military. Darkstar Imperium released another edition of their lore storyboard with the Battle of Obsidian 12. Mr. Star Wars released new designs for the Solar Empire's fleet, many of which are new variants of the older models. The Arch Confederacy held its first organised conference, with members from DSI, NG, and AFED taking part, and it's expected to be hosted by a different Archon each month. The Aeonian Federation release their monthly press release, in which they discuss both their increase in their standing with the Arch Confederacy, as well as gaining further members. Geode was formed, and Mr. X Crowley was appointed its councillor. While originally being sponsored into the Confederacy by Dark Star Imperium, AFED has ascended to the rank of Archon in the group. Well, that's all for this month, so stay tuned for our next recap, and be sure to check out our interviews with the various community leaders. But until next time, have a great time and a great day.